obedience is lacking. Even prayer cannot be pleasing to God. By Thomas Aquinas, Reverend Father, respected judges, teachers, parents, and my dear friends, greetings to all in the precious name of the Father, Son of God, and the Holy Spirit. Life of an individual needs order. Every society and country needs order. When there's no order in the society, there'll be chaos. Order is possible only through obedience of the laws and rules. So, I'm very happy to say a few words about the subject obedience. Obedience means the act of willingness to do what one is told to do. When we think about obedience in Christian life, it is purely related to God. First Samuel chapter 15 verses 22 says, Obedience is better than sacrifice. It is a true test of our love for Christ and the secret of discovering God's will for our life. It is the ability to allow heaven to smile on you. So, we should obey God by hearing His voice and follow His command. For that, we should have strong faith, love and hope. Now let us see how can we practice obedience in our day-to-day -day life. Obedience is the expression of the love of God. We should practice obedience in three different ways. First, obedience to our family. St. Paul says in Ephesians chapter 6 verses 1. Children, obey your parents in the law, for this is right. Second, obedience to a church. By obeying God's 